Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Um, what we need to get, do now is uh, find a new Sabrosian portal, which we will find in Horden Village. So let's just uh, pop on a Gale Seed and make our way over there. Pour on, or whatever. Uh, I, I will never learn the names of those. Hey, it's Maple! I uh, better get out my Pegasus seeds so I can go faster. And let's see, nothing good. Let's see. Oh well, I still, I should still try to get it. Except that stuff is mine, and now most of the stuff is mine. Wait a second, don't I have a? I do have a ring. I should get that appraised. Do come in. Welcome to Vassal Jewelers. What can I do? I would like you to appraise my ring, please. This is the protection ring. Damage taken, always one heart. Um, that ring's kind of a double-edged sword. Well, I think it is. I haven't actually tried it out. But, because it says it's always one heart, you don't always take damage for one heart. Rarely an enemy will take damage for two hearts. I think only Ball and Chain Troopers and a few of the bosses, maybe some Dark Nuts, take that much damage, but, or take that much like, give that much damage, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, wait, no, I don't need to go here. And I'm going to need my magical boomerang. Uh, I don't need to go there just yet. I will be going there soon. Oh, so soon. But not yet. Alright, so... Uh, we gotta go down here, and here is the passageway. Collect some stuff from there. And this is a little tricky, but you have to have that hit that switch with the magical boomerang on the first freaking try. All right, now into Sabrosia. Oh my word, pirates! I get to do my pirate voice. Let me warm up. Arr, arr, me hearty, arr. <laughs> I, I guess I'm, I'm used to living here now. How long do they plan on staying here? Now, how'd that go? We'll need to remember this for later. Luckily, I have it written down. So, it won't be a problem. Aye, that's it. Nothing for getting it. Ar har har. Me hearty. Is he alright? That bloke's so forgetful. Do pirates say bloke? I don't think the pirates say bloke. I think only the British say bloke. Uh, I'll have to check with BQ on that. Oh, uh, time to talk to pirates. That bloke who sent looking for the bell hasn't come back. I told me I'd search the ship. Bell? No. With the captain in such a state, we'll never get the ship out. Where is your ship? Our ship got caught in a storm and sank when we woke here. We were. It took a uh, Ah. It was so stormy that Captain lost the bell he got from a special someone. Thanks a bit of trouble. Captain got a special someone he can't forget. What's more, she said she'd be the queen of some great land. Oh, yes. The ship is over by the graveyard. We haven't fixed it yet, so it's a terrible shape. Useless fools! Can someone find me, Bell? I, you! I, I can see it in your eyes. You're a competent adventurer. Okay, go get it. Find me, Bell. I'll be waiting. Alright, this, the captain, is actually the man Queen Ambi, uh, was actually Queen Ambie's fiance before. Well, no, they weren't uh, fiance. They were, uh, they were just boyfriend and girlfriend. All right, so, huh? What's with Nintendo and having their ship being stuck in the desert? Well, it's not really a desert, but stuck in sand. Hey, there's a guy over there. Ah, the ship's bow is in the desert. That means uh, the bow's the front, isn't it? I guess it is in a desert. All right. But that cap, the captain of the pirates, is is Queen Abby's boyfriend. He is who she built the entire Black Tower for. Unfortunately, he went out to sea with his pirate crew, and they all kind of died. 
well, they all kind of ended up in Sabrosia, and now they're skeletons. Because apparently that works. Pirates are so tough, they don't die, they become skeletons. That, just like how elevators are so tough, they don't break down, they just become stairs. <laughs> You know, I was at the mall earlier, um, actually buying this new controller. It was the first day I'm using it. And there was an escalator that was barricaded off. I'm like, why? This is not a broken escalator, it's just stairs. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Ah, here, yes. Alright. <laughs> I don't know, I thought that was weird. Okay, so we need to find the bell. Uh, if we do that, because we need to get across the sea, and I think a pirate ship will help us do that. As long as it doesn't hit a, as long as it doesn't hit a, a freaking giant rock and sink to the bottom. Hey, bro, I'll take it from here. Are you looking for the bell? Then I can go back. Thank you. All right. Uh, we need to remember that code for this. So we need to push the second to the right twice. Then we, the second to the left once, then uh, far left twice, and then far right three times. And that is the password, which will allow us to go into the desert, which you could have not done before now. Alright. Oh, uh, I love the music in the desert. It's just, uh, this, it's nostalgia topped on, it's just a great track. Oh, dang it. The desert is difficult. There's an unlimited amount of levers, there's pokies all over the place, and uh, there's these cacti. Uh, cacti, cactuses. You know, uh, I've always, you know, it's weird. Uh, you can't really say cactuses because that sounds weird. Uh, neither can you say octopuses, so it's octopi or cacti. But the same thing is weird with penises. It. Is the plural for penises peni? I think it should be. It doesn't sound all that stupid. No, don't do that. Uh, go back. Okay. Now, my power bracelet. <clears throat> Why the hell not? Lasers! Uh, like, I don't think I would ever be in a situation where I would need to use the plural of penis. But, uh, I don't know. It, it's an interesting thought. It's just... no. Okay, more levers and... Ah! Leave me alone! <laughs> uh, that's... Ooh! Terrible pun. Yes, here is the bow of the ship, and we can actually talk to this ghost pirate. Pirate ghost! Ahoy! When I was searching the desert for the bell, I got caught in a sandstorm. I awoke like this. I can't go on to the afterlife. If ye pity me... Help me find that bell. Me skull is rolling in the deserts. Find that first. Okay. So, we must find this guy's skull. Now, where would we... Ow. Oh, huh? Ooh. Now I'm down here. Yes, a few of these things, like, most... The majority of them will actually kill you. But a few of them lead to secret areas. Uh, the bell is actually in uh, one, of the se one of these. I'll show you which one, but here uh, is a way to... Is it a heart piece? I don't think it's a heart piece. I, I don't know exactly where we're, where we're going to. Um, oh, yeah! A uh, ring! Alright, I believe that's a Rang ring. <laughs> which is not only the greatest thing ever, the greatest name ever, but uh, it makes our boomerang more powerful. Fortunately, well, unfortunately, we, uh, the boomerang usually just stuns most enemies. It takes, like, Armos or something strange like that to actually be hurt by it. Okay. And here's that guy. Uh, you can bomb that wall, but it's just a fairy fountain. I've been waiting, matey. Now let's find that bell. Carry me around. I'll tell you if, if we're close. Alright, so if you're close to the bell, he will start chattering. And it's actually in here. See, he's chattering. So we have to go down here. And there be the bell. That's it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. 
Alright, you got the rusty bell. Will something this rusty do? Oh no, that's Captain's bell, but I hope that'll do. It's awful rusty. Err. Well, at least I can go on to the afterlife now. The rest is up to you. Goodbye, my friend. Have fun in hell. What, he was a pirate. <laughs> you think he hasn't raped and plundered his fill? Where do you think he's going? Although I suppose it's better than just being a head in the middle of the desert. Or is it? I don't know. Never been to hell. Don't plan to go, because I don't believe it exists. But, eh, teach their own. Uh, everybody has their own theories about it. Okay, so we need to go to Sabrosia. Better stop talking about it, lest I be flamed. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got the maple ring on. Uh, so we'll run on to maple. And... Dang, still nothing good. Maple, I need you to drop some good items. Like a heart piece would be nice. You actually can get a heart piece from Maple. And ha, I win. Uh, let me see if that is actually the Rang Ring. And... Praise this. Yes, it is the Rang Ring level one. Boomerang damage up. Alright, that's all of our rings. Rings do nothing unless worn. Alright, now we need to go back to Sabrosia and give the bell back to the captain. Ugh. All in a day's work. Hope maybe we can actually get to the dungeon today. That would be pretty awesome. Well, today, this episode, whatever. Just hop down here for a little quicker. I have your bell, bro! Hey! You brought me bell? Thank ye! Let's take the a gander. Oh, surely this... Arr! This thing rusted something awful. What are you putting... This won't do. Go get it polished. What am I, your lackey? Why don't you make one of these thousands of guys just standing around do it? Oh, my word. I can understand you making me go get the bell because all of them standing around... Well, the one guy you sent was incompetent enough to die, even though he's already dead, which doesn't really make sense. But, ah, uh, forget it. Um, so, yeah. I've got a joke for you! A pirate-related joke! And it's a bad pirate-related joke, too! Okay, okay, listen to this. Why couldn't the 13-year-old get into the pirate movie? Ah, uh, pirate movie. Pirate joke. It was rated R! It was rated R! Why aren't you laughing? All oh, right. <laughs> uh, it's so bad. It's funny. Uh, where am I supposed to? Oh yeah, I gotta go to Old Schmitter's place. Uh, I, I am to believe that that the master is Old Schmitty from Minish Cap, Link's grandfather, just in a Sabrosian cloak. Because honestly, you can't really tell what these people look like. They're all shrouded in cloaks. Uh, no. Uh, I <laughs> oh, such good music does the entire thing. Ba -da. Ding, ding, ding. Da -da. All right. Welcome to the Sabrosian Smithy. We do the finest work in the land, but it take only jobs that interest us. How do you make money then? The two of us. Well, technically, ore chunk. The two of us. The two with the back are the masters of the trade. I'm just the manager. The master speaks. Apparently, he's speaking telepathically. But then again, who isn't in this game? Hmm, is, is that so? The master's eyes cannot be deceived. He says you hold the bell of great value. He hasn't offered to polish, but should he? Do it! Splendid answer! If you say please, he'll say he won't actually do it. You have to go through the whole thing again. Straight into the point. Master, do it now! Do it, do it, do it! And we get to skip the weight, which is awesome. Sorry for the weight! This is why he's the master! The finest work in all the land! Take it, treat it like an heirloom! You got the pirate's bell. Go! Alrighty then, now we just need to take this bell to the pirate. And that should be fun. Then we will have cake and rainbows and such. And trains. Yes. Okay, then. 
Um, is there anything in the market I could get? Uh, a ring, I suppose. Seed ring, 30 ore chunks. Uh, I only have 14, so no. I, I suppose I could grind for ore chunks, but honestly, I don't really need that ring. I'm not getting the rings. <clears throat> Got some phlegm in my throat. I will, I will deal with that later, because I am let's playing right now. We just need to get ourselves back to the pirates. Uh, no, who am I kidding? You know the, end, the episode's going to end right in front of the pirates. I mean, the video's almost over. All I have to do is go over here, face the pirate, and say, Be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.